Police in Kalamazoo, meanwhile, investigating the death of a teenager at Lakeside Academy who police say died after being restrained. Our Lauren Edwards joins us live after hearing from the family's attorney in Detroit. Lauren. Mm -hmm. Derek and Annie, a developing story here in Kalamazoo regarding the 16-year-old who was a student over at Lakeside Academy, died last week. Today, we heard from the attorney who was telling us that they are looking into it. Just right now, they don't have a lot of information, but bottom line, they believe that he did not have to die. I mean, our first goal here is to find out what exactly happened the who, what, when, where, and why. John Marco of Marco Law Firm in Detroit, representing the family of 16-year-old Cornelius Frederick, who Kalamazoo police say died last week at Lakeside Academy. Something went wrong, something bad happened, and we do not believe, the family does not believe that this was just an accident. Kalamazoo police say staff members were in the process of restraining the teenager last Wednesday when he became unresponsive and was taken to the hospital. I mean, police officers, uh, teachers, uh, f facilities like this are trained in how to restrain children, how to restrain people on a daily basis. There's a proper way to do it and there's an improper way to do this, okay? Marco says the family who lives in Detroit believes Frederick was restrained improperly. They believe he was choked and could not breathe. It means basically if you choke somebody out hard enough and long enough, you can cause them to have a heart attack if you keep people from getting air. A few days later, on May 1st, Frederick died at Bronson Hospital. Marco says the family is devastated. They love Cornelius very much. It was very difficult that they feel tremendous guilt of not being able to, uh, to care for this young man. Marco says that currently there's an autopsy being conducted, and they do not know if the facility had surveillance video. However, his law firm is looking into it. And we look forward to seeing the police investigation and reviewing the medical examiner's report. Uh, and just get some answers for this family. And that is what he wants to do with this now, knowing that the family is devastated and that they want those answers as soon as possible. The investigation, though, is ongoing. Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety behind me. They are part of the investigation. And when we reached out to them because we were hearing that a number of students had left the academy after that death had happened and they confirmed that that did actually, in fact, happen. And also we reached out to Lakeside Academy just to get their statement on it as well. And we are waiting to hear back. Reporting live here in Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 7. 17 News. All right, Lauren, thank you.